Bloop. Hello, Cobrats, and welcome to the after game of Pokemon Coliseum. I'm Shrekly Tamer. Last time we defeated Nascower and Evis, the bosses of Cypher, and they got arrested by Chief Shirls and his mighty hand in hand, right hand man, Johnson. And just as I suspected, we get another email walking out here from the outskirts stand with Rui still following us. I mean, why does she need to do that? I mean, yeah, she's our shadow Pokemon seer because there's no immediate snag machine seer thing. Big guy, there's trouble by a second pirate town. The kid now work out where that a suspicious looking Pokemon was spotted in pirate. I'd like to give you the full story in person, so can you come visit me? I think I will come see you in person, my good old friend known as Sec. And you're actually in pirate. I think you're in Duking's place. And hey, Willie, I think I'm going to rematch you, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'm just going to go to pirate, do my saving, because I want to <laughs> take a break from things, because I'm recording this right after the finale in the second part of episode 16, aside from the first five minutes of that from when I was doing the under Coliseum stuff. So yeah, let's get to our switchy snaps. I think I'm going to go save at the Coliseum, which is pretty far away, and then I'm going to pay a visit to those who are part of the kids' spread. Okay, I'm going to purify a couple Pokemon now, speeding through Absol, because I don't want to give it too much light of day. But then as for Tyranitar, I'm going to do the regular speed for it. Here we go with it. It's a female Tyranitar, so maybe I'll give it a fun name like Tyra. Just for shorthand stuff or something. Especially because she's so special, being the so-called ultimate shadow Pokemon. And you can kind of tell the part of Pupitar that grows out into Tyranitar. Aw oh, yeah, Crunch! The move that is lovely and grand. Even though it's still special, but even still, Tyranitar is pretty great. In fact, I'm gonna keep it all caps to show how awesome she is. She is Tyra! And she is powerful! Or as Rex may say, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyra! Hey, suddenly we don't have Ruby with us anymore. Yay, we don't have to worry about her traveling with us for the rest of the adventure, and here she is. Okay. I forgot that I have Entei here in the daycare. It's been so long, and I've been doing so much walking that Entei should be pretty good. 9,500, that's a hefty fee to pay, but I think it's Shadow Gauge maybe down. I don't know if it was really building EXP along with it Shadow Gauge going down, but let's just check it. It's a bit of an expense to do. <laughs> we saw it's a Pokeball there for a second. I think it was a Timer Ball. Uh, that did it do? Or did it throw an Ultra Ball? Ultra Ball? I don't know. Undo the final lock, yay. It's all good, so let me go purify you as well. Here, the Harpy place. Oh yeah, I just imagine Sheik off in the distance going to give us the Minuet of Forest or maybe randomize to Song of Time or something because we are in a weird thing dealing with time and Celebi is all about time travel in a certain way. Anyway, Entei, let's just do that purification stuff to you to make you feel all great with your pixelated shadow down there. I still pixelated here even if you are a Chodo Pokemon reusing the uh, stadium models of everything. Regain Sunny Day, and no ESP for us, but a nice ribbon to signify that it's from this game known as Coliseum. Okay, it is now time to do some real stuff, because it's been some time since July 12th. I mean, I've done like the weird purifications in between stuff, and also capturing of the things I missed, and did like weirdly out of time stuff. And there's a button on this side of the bookshelf, oh boy, the kids grid. Are they convening in here now? Let's just do some meeting with you there. Uh, you're not sec. I gotta meet the one that actually is sec, the one that seems important right here. Oh, hi guys, we just got some news. There's this rogue called Kale who hangs out around Pirate's interests. I have no idea who he is. Sounds like Kale recently battled this creepy trainer. Are we talking about me? Let's say that this trainer used some weird Pokemon. I think we should have a talk with Kale about this, all right? Then I guess we shall go and have a talk with Kale about it. I feel like there's gonna be more than talking though. There's gonna be some doing, some doing of some weird actions. Weird actions being Stuff that involves balls. Even more than two balls, even. <laughs> Yo, we meet again, huh? About the Shadow Pokemon. Oh yeah, I remember battling one, sure. I'd be willing to share what I know with you. But only if you can beat me. You ready? Think you can take me? Don't forget me. Well, I don't forget you, Kale, because I battled you in, like, what, what's the episode? Three? Four? I don't know. Whichever episode I did, like, the weird romp of Pyrite and getting all the dual square and surrounding areas, even though it's not a square but a circle. You know what? I'm gonna keep this battle in real time because this might not contain very much until I actually start actually considering things I'm doing. So yeah, we gotta battle Kale and see what he's gonna do to us. Aw oh, man, we're getting our attack lord on Yinion when he's supposed to be the physical attacker. Got some synchronizing he traced. Synchronize the female guard board in. Okay, that was weird for my words, but yeah. Uh, Gramble's not a fairy type, so Shadow Ball on that anyway. Uh, 
That Gardevoir is a little spooky, but so is the Grand Bull, so... It might actually know Earthquake, so I don't know. I don't trust much of anything. Kind of had the feeling that uh, Gardevoir would be doing some sort of light screen. I could very well go out into Hit Me on Top to nullify that with Brick Break. That should be a good idea, because I got some nullified attack power right here. So yeah, maybe a good idea, a good course of action as Yinion. And from here I think I'm just going to speed up because you know how the course of battles have been going on when in the course of human events it is necessary to call for the freedom of your life in terms of playing Pokemon and everything, especially when you're going very monotone. Pokemon World Championships is going on but I'm not exactly following it. I just know that it's taking place and that was a Snapchat notification. Uh, Kale's doing some decent damage to us. Of course, Ampersand painted and I couldn't get a light screen going to nullify what damage I'd be getting from these special moves. Get those feet going, even though they don't look very healthy. You know, trainers are starting to push us for levels a bit, and I'm completely fine with that. No, it's been a futile struggle every time with my lost pose right here that I'm doing. Let's get out of this and get some juicy juicy deets and info from you. That trainer, he was a Shadow Crocodile. The trainer's name was, uh, I forgot. He did say something about the Snagum hideout though. Huh, about that you say? Uh, is there a PC nearby? I'm gonna do some healing for some safety, but actually, yeah, actually, actually. I'm going to, eh, I don't know where I'm going to go because there is the Snagum hideout that is now open for us in this after game, but I want to do some healing. How about just the Aga Village because why not? I'm going to be doing what seems like a seamless edit, even though it seems like we're going in a different direction because we're going over here to the outskirts stand real quick. Let's just have a battle with Willy. Real tough, you stomped us good. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, we're not having a battle with you because I think once we do that first three match, you can't really do much more. But, uh, yeah. Listen, pal, if you're into new to travel some more, you better get yourself some stuff. It looks like a pot leaf in his hair, though. Even though it's the arboreal frippery that you get in Pikmin 2, so to speak, as it's called. Oh, man. <laughs> I really do not have a lot of money. Yeah, I had to pay a good fee for getting Entei out of the thing. Let's just pick up three timer balls, because I like them. Uh, let's see. Do I want to balance my stuff out? Uh, I'm going to be picking up some stuff along the way. And there's not really much I can sell, because I sold my nugget and everything off screen. So, yeah, I don't really have much else to work with. I'll just go do some open air freshness, even though it's probably not very fresh with all the sand going around. Reminds me of something you'd see in SpongeBob, though, like the, I don't know, the Shady Shoals stuff, even though it's more of a juice type of deal going around. It's like the meme video of, don't you open up the window, and then it does that, uh, you rape of that stuff going into the place, and yeah. Popping whatever is all we know, popping few pills, I assume. But either way, once we're here in the snag and hide out, with me being confused about song lyrics, we get this email about the Crocodile Trainer. Hey, big guy, Kay wanted me to tell you that the Shadow Pokemon's trainer is Bluno, Shadow Crocodile, rather. Please take care. And of course, we're gonna find Bluno around here, and Faraday is the one we got uh, Geronimo from, so Bluno is who we're going for here, so. The one that you are super effective against is who you find around here, and of course your second chance against the one that you may or may not have failed is fighting that same one again in Rogum Tower as we did with Faraday, and I could have just healed here by way of using this actual machine, and I picked up an item that I didn't make much moat of. Yeah, much moat. Well, if it isn't you again, you had to play with my party before, but not this time. We're speeding up through your party. So the main thing about the Snagum hideout is a bunch of mishmash of a trainers that you've fought before. And if they have a Shadow Pokemon that you didn't catch, you'll see it in due time. Nor specifically has Yanma. So that would be your second chance to get that thing. Baton passing into the Almighty Masquerade, how frightening, especially with this Intimidate. He's not quite any Guzma though, aside from if this guy's gonna decide to be annoying with the extra evasion he has. But I don't think it's gonna be nothing long term. So much that I got a double negative my way through it. I'm saving that fortress for later because, yeah, it's just a big old defensive bagworm. Oh, why, oh, why has Ghost to be not very effective on Steel when it becomes not that case later on due to the weird conundrum with fairy types? Nor, no Ray, you lived up to your reputation and your repugnation, repugnacious, pugnacious fighter, backer, dude. 
Yuri really freaked out there for a second. See, I couldn't even remember her name. Gosh, it's like been so long. I'm not gonna bother saving because you never know what could happen with the recording. Alright, uh, what's next? I don't really need to do much healing. I can just run through the PC, of course, but not like it's a big deal. Oh man, I want to buy soda, even though that soda's there. I don't need to pay any money, but you don't want to risk breaking your hand on all that broken glass there, you know? Oh boy, here comes another email. Let's check the PDA. See some more dirt on everything. Try the Pokemon list, net from the under. I mean, let's try the Pokemon and say some more. The additions I tried Ranitar, I got it. Mischievous, I got it. Sligma, I got it. Smeargle, I got it. Absol, I got it. Heracross, I got it. This is the only one that caused issue for repetition was Tyranitar and Mischievous. Definitely evaded a few balls. Yeah, yeah, I know its name is Luno, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I had to call you an it instead of a he. Well, maybe you aren't exactly dude. It doesn't really officially say. You just see a masculine body type, so you don't really want to make any too crazy assumptions. I've got an elixir right here, and I'm probably not being too great in my voice here, especially with it being 1.13 a.m. while I'm recording this. But hey, all my classes are online this semester, not like much of a big deal is being had by this. <sighs> it's kind of a confusing layout, this place. Yeah, play out, layout. Alright, there's a downstairs area, I forget which is the best I want to do. I think the top is the ultimate goal of where you want to reach, so I'm just uh, skirting around all over this place. Might even have a brief aside from being off screen. Uh, does this take me somewhere? Let's see, too, so I'm not even playing here all over the place. Playtime's over. I'll do some same. Sorry, say I left you at the snack machine lab. Did you really leave me out of the sorry state? Niver. Niver, a really weird word that I want to be careful with. We don't know if you left me in much of a sorry state, because it seems like we were the sorry state giver in this estate earlier on in the game. So yeah, Rovile and Rhyhorn, not the best combination I have immediately, but I will make do with what I've got. Of course, the better combination for me that I want to do is hit me on top in Geronimo. Hit me on top mostly for the Intimidate, but he can still dish out some stuff, you know. And I'm seeing some strategy. I can't believe they broke our light screen. Not that it really helps us much when they're doing more physical attacks. Even though Grovile, as I said before in a surprising manner, is supposed to be more of a special attacker. Zangus, you would be a shadow that's big in the story in Pokemon XD. But that's later, you know. Alright, dude. I know I am wickedly strong. Everyone has to point out how impossible it is that they've lost and how wickedly strong I can tend to be. I didn't think you'd be this tough. No wonder you're famous. I'm so famous that I'm gonna pick up this item capsule and then run my way back to a PC to heal the Pokemon that are afflicted with these match revives, even though I don't need to use the match revives. Just kidding, on my way back, because of you, my standing in ciphers in the dumps! Hello there, scrub! I'm trying to look up the item locations up here in this Snagum hideout, but here we are finding scrub again! Of course, this is the third fight against him, and instead of this Medicham, he would have the hit me on top! Or hit him on top, if you choose not to name it that, but why would you be like that? Ah, uh, my voice. Oh, was that artificial security gotta take place? My standing is gonna take another huge hit! I forgot to give him this voice, but I don't really want to do this to my voice. Okay, anyway, um... <laughs> this is even the right place. Yes, it is, because I was looking at the PC when I was saying this stuff, but it didn't fully register in my brain that I was by the PC. So now here's where I do my healing, but I'm probably gonna see dudes on my way back. Ah, just looking at some foreshadowing for items that we could get if we haven't destroyed this place. We're gonna keep all that in mind, and of course, I could have saved a lot of time by healing at an actual place instead of doing some finagling on the PC. I'm speeding up and matching up with real time. Let's just, uh, see what all I can do. Alright, seems like an important room where important people may reside. Maybe even gone zap if you were to ask me at this weird computer. Kind of outdated, but hey, there's three rare candies here. I could definitely use those on Qui-Gon Jen because she pretty much just freshly got a level up, but eh, she's already working for her next one, so only if I really start to have struggles will I start balancing people and Pokemon out with stuff, you know. Okay, now let's go over here in this spot that goes upstairs, and I spot a T. Let's go around this corner, even though it doesn't matter which way we go, just uh, rule paths and people out. Why am I so conditioned to saying it that way? Now Rue is in my way to 
added some time to this video. I see some patrollers, but there might be some extra shadows around here. What's the two? That's enough of your antics. Party's over. I don't know what kind of voice I'm having right here. Very Dryton with my trite sight that I'm doing all over the place. Oh man, Thunderbolt vape around here. Gotta vape your bait. This lantern, I don't trust it having water absorb in place of full absorb, so let's go for safety and plus the only super effective is Thunderbolt on water instead of water electric that would make it nullified to normal damage. Not gonna be finding out anytime soon because that star means gotta go down and not like I have much of a choice. The moment of truth is that, yep, full absorb. Do like me some parafusion though. I gotta say, Dryton, your lantern was very dim shack. Wasted! That pun was on this dude, but it's always good to reminisce, you know? I'll show you a painful time one day, you know? I don't know why I do that, it's just fun to do, you know? Is that like a weird keyboard thing? I don't know. It looks like a processor memory chip of olden days, like in the 1960s, where giant building-sized servers were only like, not even a gigabyte, really. But yeah, I've got some PP ups, three of them to be exact amundo. As we loop around, we're starting to find some interesting items. We're coming around to that big old snack machine as it would come to be. Is it around here? No, there's a big guy here though. This place is taking a lot of damage. Even I couldn't mess the place up this badly. Alright, tell me you did this, then prove it to me. Show me what you can do. Well, I'm showing you all I can do, Coloss. Is there a knee that's supposed to be in front of your name? Both of these Pokemon look like they can pack a bite and a crunch. Not just Carvana. But Shogun, aren't you supposed to be a little bit more physical than special? Not like it really matters on a pseudo-legendary dragon type even in Generation 3 with its heightened defense before blossoming into a beautiful croissant butterfly. At least the mega evolution of Salamence seems to be that way. And there's a town of Alamance, North Carolina. I know that because it's around where some family of mine lives. Pupitar. Just a mental reminder to myself that it's rock ground. It doesn't gain the dark type to go along with the rock until the Tyranitar blossoming. It's just a fight about blossoming, you know. You rampage too much. That's one of those Dwayne the Rock Johnson movies, isn't it? Skyscraper looks pretty good. I just like the look of the Family Man and stuff about it. But I opted to see Ant Man and the Wasp with some major stomach issues in my time at Tennessee, which, well. <laughs> I recorded Pokemon Coliseum episode 17, at least the main parts of it, before I, I, I even left on that trippy dude. Something about stealing Shadow Pokemon, your name is Crudo, and we are battling you. Yeah, yeah. You got some easy pickings, but not exactly for my starting lineup. In a logical world, a Psychic would drain the Drainer in Swalot, and a Giga Drain would be Gigatastic to that there. Sand Slash. But now there's a wheezing in the fray. I like my Eon setup. Back to basics, especially even where the cutscenes of the game started. Even if Yang wasn't very well lived in the fight. Oh, Crudo! Ow, wow, 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 wow. As a certain wise one has once said, I need healing. No fair use, stinky cheap, murder, mur, mur. Yeah, yeah, that's the spot where the stuff happened at the start of the game, blah, blah, yeah. Fight? Fight. There you are, you spies. This time you're not getting away from me. Can this be like a weird double battle setup where Rui gets to command some of my Pokemon and Cloak and Dogger are fighting together? I guess we can't get what all we wish for. But what I can wish for is at least having Amber Sam around to do some damage to these boat types. Even though they don't really have the flying type to accompany them. Volbeat, the Danish heavy metal band? And Illumise, the one that people are very adamant, haha, that's a nature, on the pronunciation of. But I, like other cultured individuals, know it is Illumise. And of course, there's the weird. Aria dose that you think would be a shadow, but it's like, nah, man. So powerful. Arr, you're too strong to be a spy. I feel like you said that previously, so they're just reusing the lines of everything. 
or spy guys. Let's treat this like a nuzlocke and take all the minimal steps to the healing place, even though I'm definitely not doing so. Coleman to a head in a place I've never been. There's gotta be some Pokeballs holding some awesome Pokemon. Do you have some? Well, I do have some decently great Pokemon. Thank you for asking, Mr. Ryan's Rion's Snoir backwards. It's like a snowing at night, LA Snoir. Because I'm great with puns. And let's treat this Mightyena like the Poochyena just evolved in mid battle to come and clutch. Very macabre, that Kadabra. Oh wow, double protect. Even though I'm pretty sure it would have been going for Hit Me on Top, but it was going for Yangion, I don't know. I knew you had some, some awesome Pokemon. Yes, I did have some awesome Pokemon. Seems like you were just having a fun defeat there. It's like, yeah, I lost, but I don't feel so bad about it. Where did you find those? I want some too. Why don't you mind suddenly going like Ned Flanders all of a sudden? Just some weirdly stutteringly southern as well with these three max potions. I'm loving this maxi stuff we're getting around here. But we're not fighting anyone around Team Magma. More like Team Snagma. Well, this is not Team Ligma. I gotta capitalize on those relevant means. X marks the spot. Magneto has been here. I'm secretly Magneto. Maybe Michael Fassbender would play Wes in the Pokemon Coliseum movie. I don't expect to see you again. Not like this anyway. Yeah, we're just suddenly getting to some fights around here as we get to the area we haven't been. Fighting Team Snag and Fustin. My name is Justin and I'm going to be busting on you. Even though you have a very powerful team you're hitting me with. Golbat always looks like it has something to hide. Or if it's trying not to gasp out loud when there's a killer around. Bust out laughing with your fussing. Boo! I know my pun was kind of bad. I just need to show myself the door to this location. So, yeah. Team Snagum Forever. This is a Wakanda, dude. See, look, I'm capitalizing on everything that is relevant around the world. Okay, there's gotta be some hidden Ultra Balls around here. They're right here. Five of them. Well, <laughs> they were actually there on the ground, even though they looked like regular Pokeballs, but you can think of them as actual Pokeball items. So, hey, you don't actually see the things. Alright, you know what? Mm, my things are looking a little weird. Uh, mm, I want to balance out Geronimo, and of course the Croconaw is going to be a thing of import in the battle. <laughs> I don't want to be crazy and focus with a Giga Drain on it, though. Oh, what? What's he do? It's been a while, not since the mayor's house has been at City, even though we never really met. You would seem snag him. There's nothing here for you. Or do you come out to see me, Bluno? See me, rather. See me, like the Mimikyu says? Bufu, if that's the case, I better not disappoint you. Man, Blue No, I don't even know if you're worth my time to not be sped up through. Because as you know, and as we all know, you have a Croconaw. It's only level 30, as it would be at the start of the game. And that's the level it evolves at. It's the lowest level evolving starter because there was like a weird balance with it evolving into Croconaw at level 18 from Totodile, but then it's like, yeah, we'll bounce things out and make it 30 for, for Alligator. Probably my favorite of the three to use for Pokemon Coliseum, even though I haven't really played too many files of Pokemon Coliseum. I think this is only my second one all the way through, to be factual and frank. But yeah, Surf is a wonderful asset because of double battle stuff and it doesn't hit your own target until later generations. And Blizzard is a move you can teach it as well, albeit a bit inaccurate. Same deal for Hydro Pump if you want to have a nicely powerful move that hits one target. And if you couldn't tell, pretty much all three brothers, Rosso's the one we haven't fought yet, but he's the one that's going to contain my favorite Pokemon, Typhlosion's pre-evolution Quillava. Muck and Grumpig, pre-evolution's earlier on. Croconaw, it is caught with a first throw netball for the sake or sake of novelty. Camera up. I want you to go bye bye, okay? That's not right, how could my cro Croconaw be defeated by being captured? I guess that's how it got captured. By being defeated, I don't know. It got defeated by being captured, I was trying to make a joke with it. There's still more Shadow Pokemon trainers out there like Robeso and some others. Still some more to purify. But that's just about all we can do here in the Shadow Pokemon Lab, of course. In that same spot, there could very well be more trainers for me to fight. Oh, what am I doing? I'm being Squidward, apparently. There is an exit right here because, yeah, it just brings you around here. Instead of having to navigate through the crazy stuff, you can go around, you can do your healing, you can do your inevitable fight of other trainers as you step that threshold. 
Uh, I guess not until we get to this threshold. It's that reckless little boy. We meet again, Byla. We're gonna say bye bye to you. I honestly don't remember making any puns like that, but oh well. I guess we're gonna bail you out. Maybe that's more of the pun I made. Jump up the now. Rosalia! The Pokemon that's pretty short, as you can see. Maybe Drew in the anime in his Pokemon contest does some sort of enlargement pill. Not really one for down there, but for up there, everywhere, to grow himself bigger. With some evil numbers, we have defeated Byla. Whoa, there is no colon there, huh? I lost again, why, why? I feel like that is something I was trying to remember for myself, some sort of grammatical error. Might have been the thing I was thinking of, but yeah. There are plenty more trainers to fight here in the Snagum hideout. And we shall do them. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, that is. Not much else to say. Until next time, do not toast yourself. And remember, gotta team snag them all. I'm sorry. E.